I saw Dune last night. Dune, you know sand? <laughs> yes. Originally, I saw the original one at, at a distributor's house. I had a little home theater there, showed it to a bunch of us. But last night, I went over to someone else's house who has his own home theater and um, looked at it. Providing he would <laughs> provided popcorn. Hey, that's good. Something to drink. And sat there for three hours looking at sand. <laughs> Some action with people with it, but it's basically sand. And I, I get these flashbacks about the original one, the, the, re, re, the, the old one, you know. So I'm waiting to see the, the ending. I wish I remember the ending, but, but everything else. Um, did I like it? Well, it's uh, a lot of a lot of effects in it. I like the um, little hovercrafts. That's those are interesting. Yes, something comes in the order of. I think they have. Um, a robot or drones that actually vibrate their wings to fly. You know. Which is well, okay, okay, but um, but you got to remember it's it's most it's all green screen. But did I like it? Yeah, I, I liked it. I liked it. Uh, used to used to do is I I used to do something like this with other people. Uh, distributors would oh how distributors used to do it is they would rent a feeder and you go down to the feeder and you see. Uh, you know, fill it around the roof and all, which I saw was great. You know, the whole theater was filled with film critics and they, hey, provided free popcorn and you got, you know, to down and down in school and I saw a fill it around the roof with all these critics. And then they wrote out their little thing and the following week they would uh, put in their little advertisement and uh, for the newspapers and uh, people would go see the movie or not <laughs> or not <laughs> uh, today it's or not um pretty rough to uh, doing it today yeah it, it is rough i mean you have the oscars out there uh most of the movies bombed <laughs> it's like that uh, Dune made uh, 165 million to produce it. Of course, to what, what you're looking at, what you do is you look at the credits. Uh huh. And you want to see where all the money goes? It's in those people who do the credits. Well, not making the credits, but those who work on it. You know, um, because you're paying for that skill amateur, amateur sitting on a computer, doing ones and zeros and making, you know, sand. Sand, making sand. Yeah, like making water. It's, it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world. Um, but yeah, yeah, you look at it. Um, then I also saw, what was it? Uh, Marvel's thing, Externals. I saw that too, the guy had that. Oh, pretty wide screen. Yeah, looks pretty good. And he also has uh, popcorn in that thing. And they asked me, well, what are you going to do about it? I said, oh, I ought to say something about it. Uh, it took me time to figure out a lot of stuff. I'm not the brightest anymore. So that, um, um, uh, one other thing I would criticize the externals, yeah, the music was too loud. Yeah, you know, you, you should have music underneath voices <laughs> so the people, is, you know, if, if you oversaturate it with music, uh, you kill the effect because you're listening to the music. This is just, music is supposed to be subconscious, you know, you're listening to um, the, you know, violins for crying, the drums for, got the action going. But um, I don't know. Um, would I go see part two? Look at 
when it comes out of us, see part two, you want me to criticize part two? Yeah. Um, I don't get it. He, you know, he's, I used to get this stuff like um, you go to the movies and then you get the videotapes. They, they, they sent you the videotapes, which is, uh, it turns out to be is there some, was something on the videotape that you played it a couple times. You could never, rec never duplicate it. Um, something like whatever Walt Disney has on their thing. You couldn't duplicate it. And it, it's something to the tape. Uh, second, maybe third time you, you ran it, uh, the tape became fuzzy. I don't know if they coded on that. You know, but which are very possibly they coded it on the tape. That you can only run it a couple of times and then that's it, folks. You can't do anything else. And it's like the DVDs. I was being sent um, DVDs to comment on them. And you could only play it on your computer. With a doggler, a little thing you stick in there. You could you could play the DVD on your computer, and uh, because they expected people to have computers, and with this little Doddles uh, plug-in. Otherwise, you, and, and you couldn't du duplicate it. You know, if you had those duplicated um, uh, stuff, I could never duplicate. It. I couldn't figure out how. To, hey, I want to keep one of these copies for myself. Oh no, I couldn't do that. I needed, I needed the coating with that little dowel sink, and, and, as as somebody says, um, you need to get a new one every couple months. Was it every month? No, it was every month. You, you had they, they sent you a new one, and of course you you write this up in the um, column. Uh, and I was a journalist uh, for a little newspaper. And uh, one of the things about working for that little newspaper, I could apply and got a Chicago Police Press Pass. You know what those things are worth? Yeah, especially if you're doing sports and you happen to have a little card, the parking card for the Chicago Police par Parking Pass. Oh, you better know it. You, you park in that spot with all the other press people Right, you get in there saying you're wearing your little IDs, or more than just one, and uh, you got your little, well, as I said, a little, little press pass in your car, and you go park in that space, and you meet the same people, and you have lunch with the same people, you have breakfast with the same people, <laughs> you have dinner with the same people, all the sa same reporters in, in Chicago at one time. It was, um, I knew everybody ABC, NBC, CBS, all the TV stations, and um, I remember covering. I remember covering something, and and uh, yeah, I, I was getting into that thing. And the guy guy shows up, and the guy says, um, "The guy says, Rich, hey, hey, oh, I missed, I missed, I had uh, trouble with the car." I says, "Well." I've got it for you, and it's, it's it's something like helping each other out. If somebody misses something because they couldn't get there or they had to cover something else, you know the old saying. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I'm doing my my little bit for my little paper, but here's what what I recorded. You know, just put him into his computer and let let him think. Which is we we help our students, each other. You know, you're, you're a journalist and you help journalists out. Sometimes you can't get there. You know, you, you miss the, um, union, I'm at the Union League Club. I'm shooting um, um, commissioner down there. And, and um, I got her, her whole bit there and guy guy shows up from ABC that's saying, oh, I missed this thing. I've got it here. Nope. That's what we're there for. It's a pretty well knit thing, and you got even people from foreign countries who are, uh, you know, hey, 
you know, we help each other out. Uh, don't get your, don't put, yeah, oh, but hey, I'm wearing press. They're not going to shoot at me. Oh, yes, they will. They're going to they're gonna shoot at you. You know, it's like the one, the good journalist who got killed uh, in Israel. She's wearing press. Somebody shot her. It was Israeli troops that shot her or somebody from the um, Hamas shot her. She may have seen something and recorded something that they don't think. Hey, bad press for Israel. Shoot, shoot a journalist. It's, it's rough. Um, and she happened to be with the enemy. A woman with the enemy. A male chauvinist pig Hamas. They don't like women. Yeah, so, yeah. But it's a rough business. Um, the old saying about, um, yeah, you know, it's all, as I go back to um, Dune again, uh, this is my report on Dune. I think I'm going to have a whole whole column. So yes, what I used to do in print and how I can go do it on on YouTube, a report on Dune. Uh, well, I see the second part on it. Is it gonna, the second part going to be three hours long? Okay. Um, I presume they're following the script uh, just like the first one, but they broke it down to two, you know, maybe, what was it, the first one was four hours long? You know, so, whatever. I don't know. Maybe they, I presume they have, have d already shot everything and editing everything. And they bring out like, you know, a series like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. But, I don't know. I'd say, what else should I should? Should, should I go out to all the other one? Maybe should go, go that coda. I think I've seen that somewhere. I think I've seen some of this stuff somewhere. Um, see if I can get my hands on Coda. Huh. A Coda is the uh, ch child of deaf adults or children of deaf adults. Uh, where the, everybody has, is deaf and they're sign language -ing. And uh, I hear their sign language -ing in four letter words too. That's not very good. If your script has to be four-letter words, you lose a whole percentage of people seeing it, especially children. You know, do you really have to put interesting language into or foul language into a movie? Uh, it's nice to say maybe, oh my God, once. But not, oh my God, three times or four times or five times or twice. You don't really, I don't know.